Yo, what's good? You guys, it's your boy Zero Jackson back in another video. So, you know, back in 2020, 2021, we had a couple of big notoriety people to rise into the fame category that I truly enjoy watching or idolizing. One of them being Andrew Tate. Now, Andrew Tate has been into some trouble lately. And let's see if his career is actually about to be over with. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. And before we actually get right into the before we fully get into the video, make sure you like or dislike the video and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get right into it. <laughs> Raid on their mansion resulting in Andrew and Tristan Tate being held in a Romanian jail cell for over three months. All the way to from a police raid on their mansion resulting in Andrew and Tristan Tate being held in a Romanian jail cell for over three months. All the way to spending 30 days under house arrest with some of the most serious charges possible. It wouldn't be a stretch to say the Tate brothers have had a wild ride for the past six months. But with the recent developments in their case, it seems like this is just the beginning. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today, their move from jail to house arrest on the 31st of March 2023, Andrew and Tristan would receive a warm welcome from their inner circle and hardcore fans. It was from then on that Andrew would begin to reinforce the idea that the Matrix had plans to kill him. In his mind, if they weren't able to silence him in jail, they would do so with a bullet. I prepare my body to absorb Freddy thought he was Keanu Reeves. Absorb the brutal kinetics of piercing lead. As all silencing attempts fail and stage 3 approaches, I anticipate a bullet will be the chosen utensil of pacification. I can only pray and prepare. I will force myself to breathe the best I can. I promise. If they kill me, I love you all. A message that would really resonate in the hearts and minds of his most dedicated fans, with many believing that the Matrix was after Andrew for the message that he preached, and that the entire criminal investigation was simply a ploy to keep him down and silenced. A ploy that massively backfired, resulting in Andrew looking like the underdog going up against an all-powerful institution. And the fact that he was placed in a cell for 90 days without any charges added some credence to this idea. The strice and effects sitting in a cell for 90 days without actually full on having without actually having a reason that hmm what did you do what did you do seems to be in full swing the matrix was trying to silence the tate brothers which only made their side of the story more convincing or that's at least how it seemed on the surface as in the short months later that followed their transition to house arrest would be flooded with new evidence Heated interviews. Making the point that there is Has a she accused me of a crime. emotional or psychological manipulation. I've asked you a question and, I've and serious litigations that completely turned things upside down. On the 10th of May 2023, The Sun released an article. I mean, I have like a mixed, mixed emotion or mixed opinions about him. I have mixed feelings, I guess you could say, about Andrew Tate. It wasn't, it wasn't like I disliked the guy. I mean, there were some parts where he were he were speaking facts, and then there were other times where I was just like, "Dude, you're jigging! Like you're crazy for what you're saying right now. <laughs> you're wild about what you're saying right now." But it's like, I don't know. I don't know. It was. It was. I didn't really idolize it because I didn't really care. Again, master of minding my own fucking business. I was minding my business too. I think at the time I was preparing to watch the ALGS London land. I did not care. <laughs> detailing the real reasons the Tate brothers were released from jail and moved into house arrest. The 80-page court order that the article was based on outlined the true nature of the investigation. Prosecutors from DICOT, Romania's organized crime busters, had attempted to argue the Tates were a danger to the alleged victims. Quote, Prosecutors from DICOT, Romania's organized crime busters, had attempted to argue the Tates were a danger to the alleged victims, but the judges at the Court of Appeal disagreed and said the brothers on house arrest would ensure a fair investigation. Investigation. In the judge's eyes, the investigation wouldn't be negatively impacted by the Tates being under house arrests. 
even stating, quote, The Tates were not a risk as they were highly educated, lacked a criminal record, and were socially integrated. This proved that the Tate brothers weren't released as a result of the prosecution's lacking evidence, but due to the judge wanting to make the investigation fair. Speaking of investigation, Uh, they try to incriminate him for something to try to lock him up, but they couldn't find nothing within an appropriate amount of time, so they couldn't give him a proper conviction, so they let him go. That's part of it, but the other part is that the judge wanted to be fair in their trial so that he can actually give them a suitable punishment. Which nowadays, what's really a suitable punishment? When you, I don't know. I don't know. But let's continue. ...and evidence, Dicot stated that they, quote, have thousands of documents and pieces of evidence, even going further to say that the investigation into them will be complete by July, which could indicate that the Tate brothers would be charged within the month of June, possibly going into early July. Going from jail to house arrest was a win for the Tate brothers, but the investigation was nearing a conclusion and seemed to be backed by a mountain of evidence. By the 1st of June 2023, Andrew would go on an interview with the BBC. It it was his first interview after being released, however, it wouldn't be a beneficial one, as the encounter would quickly become extremely combative within minutes. Have you raped anybody? Absolutely not. Have you trafficked anybody? Absolutely not. The first section of the interview was mostly spent discussing things that Andrew had said in the past, and how they may relate to the current investigation. Ah, <sighs> do you catch that tantalizing scent? Well, that's a signature aroma of today's sponsor, Vans Global. Eaton H Z Blank doesn't believe it and hate Anik discreetly cut these little subscription twenty percent subscription with Andrew. The courses on his in and mostly brought up out of context. The reporter didn't appear to be concerned with Andrew stay in prison and mostly brought up out of context quotes from his past posts on YouTube, the courses on his old website, and various other sources, many of which that have been already taken down or deleted. Women who are going to court to accuse you of rape and human Sophie trafficking. Sophie hasn't gone to court, Sophie doesn't exist. And I'm describing women who have The video she was referring to is from Andrew's webcam business course. In charges. The one, the first one you mentioned, the rape one is already thrown out by a judge because there's no evidence of it. Throughout the interview, Andrew claimed all quotes were either taken out of context or denied ever even saying anything like it. He even denies taking down his old website. No website. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like the Tates, they weren't really doing nothing towards women, really. It's more like they just got their money from scamming, and then they just built, built up upon it from the scams that they pulled. Because that website was a multi-million dollar website, because these simp motherfuckers, I'm sorry, sorry. These motherfuckers that uh that don't know how to get play like that. They don't know how to get play like that. And they, they really wanted they really wanted to get down to business and they needed somebody to look up to and that could teach them a little give them a little nudge, a little push. Yeah. <laughs> No website's been taken down. My website is the same. It's been the same for a very long time. The comments on this website, on the original website, have been taken down, and I wonder. It why. is true that some of her references to a few podcasts were taken at face value, but the issues of his old website were concerning. His old courses that were meant to teach men how to start a webcam business that clearly took advantage of women. Andrew would go on to claim that no one was speaking out about the case, other than the imaginary individual that Legacy Media created, whilst denying his involvement with a webcam business. The Never mind, I reject my statement. These claims become harder to believe when you take a look at the documents regarding Andrew's case. What followed was a transcript of Andrew's conversation with one of the victims. He explained his business model, referenced his courses, and stated that he wanted her to come and live with him in Romania. Andrew quoting, You're not stupid, and you probably guess how I make so much money. I have to hide what I really do. The victim saying, Webcam? With Andrew replying, For a long time, I did this with a team of girls who worked on video chat. That is, 
Mm, that is very loud. What the hell? The company was asking how to document each tattooed on their bodies. According to Andrew, all this information was fabricated by the Matrix to slander his name. The interview turned debate would eventually become so heated that Andrew's lawyer had to step in. We need to do an interview where you are going to ask questions that are going to give us the opportunity to clarify some things. These are very loaded I'm questions. Sorry, and so far, I'm, I'm sorry, know. I have arranged this and I'm talking right now. So, these are very loaded questions, and this is not- The rest of the interview was directed at the other aspects of Andrew's life, such as his impact on young men and claims of charity work, with Andrew stating that he gives $25 million to charity annually. Finally, the interview would close on an interaction that seemed almost comical. Do you really believe you're the most influential man on the face of the planet? I'm the most Google person on the planet. $25 million a year? Do you believe you're the most influential man on the face of the planet? I'm the most Google man on the planet. That statement would have been true back in December 2022, but current Google Trends tell a different story. Two versions of the interview would be uploaded to the internet, a shorter 12-minute version posted to the official BBC channel on YouTube, and the full 38-minute version posted to Andrew's Rumble page, the latter gaining over 9 million views compared to the 3 million views on BBC's version. Three days later, Andrew would make a follow-up statement to address the Matrix, giving them his demands for any further interviews. Firstly, Andrew made the claim that legacy media failed the public by not asking interesting questions and instead focusing on what he said in the past. I thought that even the BBC, in its absolute arrogance and hubris, would be smart enough to come to me after six months being the first interview I gave to The Matrix and be smart enough to ask questions people were genuinely interested in. He went on to state that the BBC took clips from his older podcast and began creating a narrative that he was a human trafficker. Andrew also ignored the reference to his old webcam courses. To make sure that he wouldn't be questioned like that again, Andrew announced his new requirements for any future interviews with anyone that he thought was part of the Matrix. He wanted $50,000 donated to charity and a box of chocolates. $50,000? So we'll feed over 60,000 children for wasting an hour of my time. Plus a box of chocolates. That. Honestly, I think that's a pretty reasonable demand if the Matrix, I'm not going to say if the Matrix is actually real because literally we have been proven that aliens are real. So I can't really say what is real, what's not real because we don't really know. Uh, but we can say that that is very reasonable. I mean, you can send them a box of Hershey's Kisses at this point, but like chocolate, just chocolate. I mean, me, I'm allergic, but like, it would be more like something like send me some peanut butter or butterscotch, some type of gummy candy. Send me like a box of gummy candies. <laughs> it could be dots. Uh, I fuck with dots. It could be, you could send me a bag of, uh, Sour Patch Kids, Starburst, like, I mean, it's, it's a lot of candy I can still eat. It's just sad I can't eat chocolate no more. <laughs> it's just sad I can't eat chocolate no more. Is my fee from this point forward? This begged the question, who was Andrew referring to when he said news outlets outside the Matrix? Was he referring to outlets that saw him as innocent, or those that presented facts about the case? The next interview was on the 12th of June 2023, with someone who Andrew claimed was outside the Matrix, no other than Valuetainment. He had several interviews with Andrew before, and this one was no different, the main topic being how the Matrix was attacking Andrew, and stories from his time in jail. And jail as a whole, I mean there's so many stories I can tell, there's so many different ways I I remember it. There were times I laughed. I will sit and say some of the best days of my life were in jail. Get out of here. Andrew would eventually talk about the criminal case, although in a limited fashion. He claimed the events that the BBC discussed happened nine years ago, which is odd since his indictment is based on events that occurred in 2022. Okay, for... I have enough to create a hypothesis about Andrew Tate right now. And... I want to say hypothesis in like the scientific term because like I'm really am giving like an educated guess. It's a little bit more of a detail into his 
Andy Tate is probably <clears throat> Andy Tate was a was a fighter, so it's possible that he could have gotten blunt force trauma, which then gave him concussions and probably CTE one, which makes him act a certain way. But he doesn't he doesn't show physical violence. So my guess is it's blunt force trauma, CTE, combined with schizophrenia that's making it seem like the world is out to get them. And that's an educated guess. But in the next, I don't know how long, whenever he gets convicted, then that's when we'll find out. Two. The video would become an instant fit with both Andrew Tate's fans and haters, garnering over 10 million views on YouTube. The narrative of the Matrix attack was pulling a public sentiment towards Andrew, and he intended to take full advantage of it. His first emergency meeting stream happened a few days later, and had over 400,000 concurrent viewers. During the meeting, Andrew stated that there were parts of the case that he couldn't discuss, but he made several claims about what they were accused of. He claimed the case had nothing to do with the webcam business, but was all about stealing money from girls' TikTok accounts. Hey Tristan, you used to run a webcam studio. I no longer run one, but yes, I used to. How is this linked into the case? That has nothing to do with the case. But the narrative is that I formed a criminal gang when my net worth was already over a hundred million dollars. We allegedly formed this gang to steal money from TikTok accounts. That is the narrative. That is what I have been arrested for, and this is the first time publicly I could finally clear that up. The Tate brothers gave the impression that the entire case was built upon lies, and that it was highly unlikely that they'd be charged with anything, but this would be far from what happened. If what they're saying is like, I mean, they're, they're true masters of hiding the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's like they're true masters of hiding their true emotions. It was like me, I'll be trembling in my boots. I'll be shivering me timbers. I will literally be crying at the moment. I'm like, <laughs> wanna go to jail? <laughs> I don't wanna go to jail, man. Bro, I'm already thick. I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to have a fight. Man, I just want to be by myself. I don't want to be around more people I don't fight. Man, I'll be... On the 21st of June 2023, the Tate brothers and their two associates would be formally charged with human trafficking in continuous form, the formation of criminal organization, and grape in continuous form. Dicot's latest press release added several damning details about the case. In addition to the original allegation, the Tate brothers were charged with, quote, illegal access to the computer system, alteration of the integrity of computer data, instigation and hitting or other violence, as well as, quote, the seven victims you can get charged for instigating. Yes, bro. If you can get charged for instigating, that's fucking perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. That was the most evil life I could ever muster up. I mean, besides besides my actual genuine laugh. Like, I, I really can't do some evil laughs, but like that's besides the point right now. Um Yeah, instigation. If you can go to jail for instigation, that's crazy because you technically didn't do nothing except for egg the person on to do it. But if that's true, there's some motherfuckers that really 
irked my soul to the finest abilities when I was in middle school and high school that really instigated me, try to get me into fights and really did get me to fight a lot of people. That would be funny if they would have Actually, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to speak that into existence. I'm going to continue the video. Victims identified during the criminal investigation were subjected to forced labor. Of the seven victims who were sexually exploited by the organized crime group, three became civil parties in the criminal process. Dicot went on to state that they had confiscated 15 properties with the IFOV County, 15 luxury cars, shares within four commercial companies, and $3 million in cryptocurrency. Wait, hold on. Let's read this full on thing. Uh, request a uh, of several movable and immovable assets unavailable and 15 land and building located within within the countries of wherever the fuck Russia. <laughs> That's all I know. I know this one's Russian, or at least I believe. I feel like it's Russian, but I could be totally wrong. 15 cars, 15 luxury cars, 14 luxury watches, two indigo, indigoats, and metal. I'm dyslexic, so bear with me. The social shares held within four commercial companies, the sums of Eighty-six thousand five hundred eighty, and this is currency. This is one currency, and then fifty-two thousand six hundred fifty euros, and then seventeen thousand four hundred thirty U.S. dollars, and ten thousand thirty-seven pounds. They literally could have fled to any country they wanted, basically, and could have. <laughs> the sum uh, and the sum of. Oh, this is combined all together. Twenty-one thousand. Yeah, that's more than twenty-one thousand. That's. Hold on, one, two, three. That's twenty-one million. Eighty thousand five hundred and eight dollars combined all together and that's in crypto wallet and anything else they own <laughs> no Ooh. I like that's just in crypto wallet but this right here is the actual sum three point eight no. Three hundred eighty-four million nine hundred and four thousand seven hundred eighty-nine. What? I'm done reading this. See, the investigation was complete and they were going to trial, but in Dicot's own words, situation that cannot in any way defeat the principle of presumption of innocence. Just a day later, Angel would address the situation by complaining about the bad press and claiming the media was corrupt. For one year they've attacked me and they will not stop. I've been offered to sell my soul. All I had to do was shut up. If I would have sold my soul to a large corporation, and then this attack happened, then this large corporation would speak to the media and the media, they wouldn't be treating me as an enemy, they would treat me as an ally. All I had to do was sell my soul and I refused. Andrew made sure not to mention the case in any capacity. He was more concerned with swaying the public opinion. He wants the public to believe that the entire case was a conspiracy created by the Matrix. But looking back at Andrew's own statements about this webcam business, the reason he moved to Romania for the sack of corruption and courses that he sold, it doesn't seem like an attack. The evidence in the case describes Andrew's strategy of recruiting women, which is identical of which he taught in his own course. He would approach women with the intention of getting them to do sex work, making them fall in love with him, 
them and then bring them back to Romania to work for him. This strategy bears a striking similarity to the one used by convicted Romanian trafficker Leo. Am făcut un trafic de persoane cu fete, ne-am dus în Italia, am făcut prostituție cu ele. Romanian authorities have had issues with crimes of trafficking for a long time, and organizations like the Council of Europe's Group of Experts on Action Against Trafficking in Human Beings, also known as GREDA, have gotten involved, instructing Romanian authorities to prioritize action against human trafficking. It's safe to say that Romanian authorities have a vested interest in seeing the case through. On the 29th of June, Andrew decided to go on another interview to further discuss his current predicament. He would also continue to frame the charges as a subjective matrix attack and generally downplay the evidence brought forwards. So I have a narrative which is countering their narratives that they control and they feel like that I need to be punished for that. And they're massively influential and powerful and now I find myself in the position I'm in with a matrix attack. Apparently he got too big and his message was too controversial and the human trafficking charges were completely unexpected. I knew that some kind of attack was coming. I didn't expect to get hit with this. Human trafficking is insane. Considering what he said on a previous interview with James English, it doesn't seem at all unrelated. 75 women worked for me at the peak of it all. But that was a mistake because when you have a bunch of girls working for you like that, the only way you can motivate them is with money. When I started, the girls worked for me because they loved me, right? That's the old school pimp game, isn't it? I love this man. We're on our way to the top together. But when you get too big, you can't have all these girls in love with you. I mean, you can only f so much. Like, I don't know. You kind of just dry snitch on yourself on the internet. The logs back from the internet. Place the book on your head and are you crying? We're all human, right? So I cut down to like a special forces team of around eight girls. And that's where I made my most money. When I had four girlfriends, my brother had four girlfriends. I was turning over 400 grand a month. The story of the Tate brothers is a long and fascinating one packed with unanswered questions. Why did they take down their old website and courses? And was Andrew really predicting the Matrix next move? Or is it all just an attempt to cover his tracks? There are two main ways that people view the Tate brothers' current situation. One side believes it's entirely a product of the Matrix, and the other side assumed that the crimes of his past are finally catching up to him. Andrew has yet to be proven guilty, and in the eyes of the law, he is still innocent. However, the coming months of court proceedings will certainly put that to the test. Many people believe Andrew to be the most hated person on the internet, but that's not true. Click the video on screen to find out who truly is the most hated person. Wow. That was very interesting. Interesting enough to say. And pretty interesting to watch at the same time. Minor headaches here and there, but you know, all right. He's just chilling out here. But with that said, we got another video right after this. So if y'all go ahead and click to the other video that's on the screen, I'll catch you over there. God bless you guys. Peace.